Okay, and we are live. Okay, so we're, we're having a little bit of technical difficulties. Um, her camera is going in and out, so we will do the best that we can for tonight. Um, this is Jennifer from Sunshine Smiles. Um, doing a little bit of introduction for her until she, she comes back. <clears throat> in the meantime, I am going to share our live feed so let everybody know that we're up and running. <laughs> yeah, well, I, uh, we can just do, do the best that we can. So, okay. Okay. So we, we've got one person. Good evening. This is uh, divination night. Tonight's special guest is Jennifer of Sunshine Smiles. So we're, we're going to, she has got some amazing decks, some that we've never seen before. Um, but I've got a whole list and we're, we're ready to, to get started. Comment if you want a reading. Hello, Shannon. Hello, Brenda. Hello, I'm David. Difficulties though, still. Yeah. I'm only, I'm catching like every three words that you're saying. Oh gosh. Okay. So okay, everybody, like bear, everybody just please bear with us. We'll do the best we can comment for a reading and, um, we'll make sure that, uh, we understand each other. Okay, we have one reading ready. Can you hear me? Um, I'm like every couple words I can hear you, but not really. Okay, so we got one reading. I'll show it to you. It's Mercury retrograde. I was afraid something like this would happen. Okay. Can you read this? Like, no. Okay. Hmm. I don't know how we're going to do this. I, I apologize, guys. We're, we're trying. She's went out and come back a couple of times. And she's completely frozen. Yeah, it, it must it, it must be the weather. It must be this the storm that's coming through. Um, we'll try our best. If we can't, then we'll we'll come back on on a special night or something. Um, only thing you can do, right? So. Hmm. Yeah, I think that, okay, I, I do have two people on the list. Um, I don't, she, the one that I drew, drew was one of hers, and I don't, um, hold on, let me see. Yeah, I'm trying to go with the flow of it. Okay, so she's out. I'm going to try if she can come back in. Um, if not, then I'm, I might just pull mine because I have a full table out here ready to just have a little bit of fun with. So it's still Wednesday night. It's still divination night. Even if there's technical difficulties, we go with it. And this is supposed to be the easiest, um, Mercury retrograde of the year because it's in Aquarius. So, David, I will actually message you um, the link, and that would be greatly appreciated. How you? How's he, How are you doing? <laughs> uh, a 
a lot better. Actually, that okay. Was perfectly. Okay, so I am just going to hold up and and see if you can see it. That way, in case you can't hear me, you can see it. You do have a reading for I Amy. It. It's cutting out okay. a little bit now, but okay. I can see you, and I heard most of what you said that time. Okay, right there. This is the one that you'll be doing, and it's for Amy. Oh, it's okay. <clears throat> Another picture put out again. Now, Jennifer has a very wide selection. Yes. <laughs> I can't hear you again now. Beth, I thought that it was in Aquarius. It might have been a moon that I was talking about. I got you, Flora. I talk a lot, Jennifer. Just... Just go with the reading. It's like cut out super bad again. Okay. Can you can you do the reading? It says I'm like really connected. Can you can you do the reading? It's stuck on my screen if you're holding up the piece of paper, but I can't see what it says. It's like and that's okay. like all I can see. It's it's the Rider Waite astrology answers. The Rider Waite three card. I don't even have those in here. Uh, okay. I think you said the Rider Waite three card. Yes. Yes. I can't hear anything again, or it's this, your screen's frozen. Yes. Yes. Right or wait. If I text you, would you be able to see it? Can you hear me clearly? Yes. Yes. But if I text you, would you be able to see the message to know what to do? I can't hear anything at all on the screen since frozen. Okay, I tried to message you and to see if you okay. can. I got that. Okay. okay right away, astrology answers. This is one of my favorite yes. decks because one of the very first decks that I got. I um, actually got astrology answers um, website. They sent me an email one day and said that uh, if I paid five dollars shipping and handling, I can have a free tarot deck. And so I pay. I paid the five dollars for shipping and handling and. Like I've had it for a really long time and I just love it. It has the AA Astrology Answers logo yeah. on the back. It's a really cool website too. Okay. We got the Ten of Swords, the Two of Swords, and the Page of Cups. So it means you're probably coming from a period that was pretty defeating. Um, you're probably feeling like you just didn't have much more to give something like really you really took a beating with a choice like some kind of decision that you have to make which path you're going to go and probably um someone that is going to assist you that is of the more romantic type or that has romantic intentions they probably have a message that, to bring you that um is going to help you decide which way to go and the good thing about the ten of swords though is that at least like it's in the past and you're done with it and now you can move forward and better things are to come but the two of swords is the lady with the um, blindfolded with two swords and she just has a decision to make and she's thinking very hard and she doesn't realize that she's not, she doesn't have to defend herself from anything because um, there's really no 
nothing that scary that's around her, but she can't see. So she's just ready for battle. And the Page of Cups is going to come along and help you and give you some assistance. Probably a little romance. He may be a younger person, or it could be a water sign. If that helps if I'm still on here. Okay. Wonderful. <laughs> All right. So next up is Suzette. And see if you can hear me. Um, so this is your crystal quartz with Reiki symbols. The pendulum? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so do you have a question that you want to ask? Right, Suzette, do you have a question? It's usually with pendulum, they come out with yes or no responses. Okay, Amy said thank you. Um, okay. So, um, will my finances improve? Did you hear me? Um, no. I was looking at the password. I didn't understand that either, but I think the answer is probably no. Is what I'm getting. I'm messaging you all the info. Okay. Um, let's move on to Flora. The Radiant Rider. Sorry, it just said no. Well, maybe there, maybe not very soon, but hopefully sooner than later. Unfortunately, it's not looking like a lot of things are improving for a lot of people anytime really soon with the way everything seems to be going. Maybe we get these. Vaccines. Um, if, That's right. Um, we want events again. We want to see each other again. Okay, so the next up is Flora with the Radiant Rider Weight. I still can't hear you. I'm messaging. <laughs> Just check your messages. I'm sending out all of them. Okay, so let me get everybody okay. that's. Most of my cards are like right away um, symbolism because I just almost everything that you learn or that you can find to read about the tarot, you know, uses that as an example. So it was really easy to get comfortable with that um, style. I have a few decks that are a little different, but I'm just really comfortable with the right away version for sure. Like I said, most readers get that way. Okay. Of the nine of wands, the high priestess. These are holographics. So I don't know how well they'll show up. And the six of cups. So the nine of wands is um. He's definitely actually card it has to do with a little bit with creativity and we're maybe a fire sign the high priestess says that you need to that you're well the night of wands you're probably rushing into something um maybe a creative action maybe um something with your work um the high 
creed just says that you need to use your intuition and that this is something very important in your life, but that everything that you need to know may not be on the surface. Like, you need to look within and follow your heart and let it guide you. Um, the Six of Cups actually talks about, like, past relationships and uh, or familial top family ties or, like, just memories, like wishing for something, um, looking at the past, but not necessarily regretting it, like fond memories of what's going on, what happened. And maybe you need to use like, your past memories or your past experiences to make a decision about this creative action that's coming into your life. So maybe you need to look at your past and maybe history might repeat itself. So use the experience that you've had and let that be your guide. Oh, that's nice. <clears throat> that's good. All right. Next up is oh, we're another pendulum, your rose quartz. So this would be a love reading, right? All right, let me messenger. All right. There's close love right okay. And, and this is for Colin. Colin, this is for you. I love if reading. If you make me feel a bit better, I will... Um, Set the cards out and let the pendulum pick a card for you. Pick like a stack of cards and draw that one. So it'll give us more information than just yes or no. Yeah. He needs a good reading. He hasn't had a good reading on here yet. So we need something positive for him. Okay. The Queen of Wands, somebody very creative, um, somebody that is definitely motherly, um, a lot of intuition. Um, the Queen of Wands could be like, she could be some important a part of your personality that you need to like expose more or that you need to use more in your job or your creative life. Or she could be somebody that's coming to help you with something that's going on in your life. Um, She's a wise woman, and she is usually, like, I don't want to say powerful, but she usually is a strong woman that um, will be able to guide you. Um, sunflowers, there's, she's connected to sunflowers, so that's um, maybe a connection that you could make that just leaped out to me. But um, it's a woman that may help you in your future, so watch out for her. Or it could be part of you that you need to, you need to um, use more of in, like, mimic more or you know use her qualities exactly donna i was thinking the exact same thing you described his wife perfectly <laughs> she is yeah she's cool. she's great yeah i i I, th I think i think that's his wife I he was thinking great. he was he was thinking the same thing so two thumbs up <laughs> well, Colin, good, then. you she's better we're gonna help you Colin, if you didn't do anything for her for Valentine's Day, it is time to do so. There you go. <laughs> yeah. No, can't deny it. <laughs> Next up is Donna. Okay. One here. Ooh, the prism, prism visions. Prism, prism visions. Yes. They're a cool deck. They're actually different. They're don't, they don't really go by the um, Rider-Waite um, 
style exactly. And they're actually a cool deck that you can lay out each of the suits and, and it, they all go together to tell a story. Like each four suits, like if you put them from ace to king, tells like a, like is a whole story in the in itself. So you have four different little stories when you lay them all out, which is pretty neat. And they have like the all seeing eye. I don't know if you're really seeing the cards very good, probably not. But they have the all seeing eye on the back, which I think is cool. Okay. And I forget who makes these. But he made another one called, I think, Light Visions. Also, this is his second deck. James R. Eads, it says, is the illustrated by, but I don't think that's who actually made the cards. But they're, they're a really cool deck. And um, like I said, this is the second one of his decks. There's the first one, I think, called Light Visions or something like that. Okay. Oops. The Ace of Cups and the Two of Wands. So the Two of Cups is definitely like your um, soulmate kind of relationship, like happily ever after, like meeting somebody that you just really, 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 you know, click with and that probably be in your life for a big, re for a good reason, which followed by the Ace of Cups is the same thing, like a new beginning or a new, um, a new aspect to your relationship. Maybe you'll be in a marriage or maybe you're already in a relationship. It's just going to come to a better level. The Two of Wands is kind of shows somebody that's like waiting for something um, to come in or like waiting for something to happen. So maybe if, maybe you're either waiting for this relationship to come along or you're waiting for it to go to the next level or you in your relationship are waiting for something important to happen. And it looks like probably you're going to be waiting for a little while, but it doesn't say what, what the outcome is going to be of that um, situation. It shows that like something important to do with love and relationships with your partner or finding a partner and then possibly waiting on something. Maybe maybe create maybe something creative or, or maybe just waiting for whatever to happen in the world right now because like everybody's waiting a lot on everything. All right, sounds good. And um you good. Are you good? So, um, well, Colin oh, said that his wife me. slipped and hurt her back on the ice. Those of you who so, don't know about Mercury Retrograde, you know, I think he, Mercury Retrograde is great for um, messing up internet connections, messing up communication, um, like just throwing a wrench in whatever you have planned. And he's almost, I believe, but it started, I want to say the very beginning of February. No, that's not right, I don't think. Maybe. But yeah, Mercury Retrograde loves to um, play little tricks on us with communication. With um, They say don't find any contracts and don't um, like go into any agreements on Mercury Retrograde because you may regret the decision later. Just a little astrology tip for you. But Mercury goes retrograde three times a year, so. But it's only for about a month each time, maybe six weeks. Yeah, we're we're getting roughly in the in the peak of it, so I think that's what the problem is. And so probably my spirits are black, and I can't see or hear anything at all right now. <laughs> okay, so Colin, all of our love goes to your wife, and may she heal quickly. Um, he said the back brace is helping, so that's wonderful. Um, all right. So next up is Amy. Um, and we got another Amy. Can you hear me better now? Can't put it anywhere that it makes like the screen is still black. I heard you say next is me or me. Amy. And okay. Amy. Is, is it 
is the ocean ocean's in these are really 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 cool cards Oshazen cards. Oshazen is like a Buddhist, and he's all about like the here and now, and like living moment, and like meditation, paying attention to, um, you know, what's going on right now, and like not regretting yesterday, and not worrying about tomorrow. Is his message like in general? And these cards are really cool. They're really different. Um, they have names like schizophrenia or isolation or playfulness. Like every card has a name. And I think they're really cool. Aloneness, lovers, projection, morality, just all kinds of different, like, he's got a different take on things. Um, it's similar, but. Okay, creativity, which is, um, I believe that's the Empress in the normal deck. And intensity, which is the Knight of Wands. And conditioning. I believe that is the devil card in the record. It's got two. It's like two lions, but one. Actually, it's a lion with lambs, and the lambs like almost look like they're made of smoke or something. The intensity card. It's just like a beam of light going like out into the world, coming from like the mountains, or just like a right, you know, it's just like a beam of light that's like intense. Creativity. So the high priestess is all about abundance, about creating something. Sometimes it's about new births or have to do with motherhood. Um, followed by the Knight of Wands, which is also a very creative card and is a, like fast moving. Um, so maybe like you need to like get to your creative but to um, what you've been trained that you're supposed to act a certain way or you're supposed to be a certain way or do a certain thing and like you've tried to do that because you know that's what everybody's expected of you but you've like started getting in touch with your creative side and you realize you found some things that you're very passionate about and you would like to give them a try but you're worried about what people will think and you need to cut those chains and um just do what you want and enjoy yourself and hopefully that helps Nice. <clears throat> now, those are beautiful cards. All right, next up is Raven. So, we've got, let me see. Oh, when you know, this is mine. So, this will, this will give you a chance to take a break. Okay. So I have like all of my decks laid out here. I've got my pendulum. I got the witch's runes. I've got the witch's, um, the tarot dice. So, and I brought out the new pendulum thing that I <laughs> announced that I was making. Oh, she said to tell you that that was spot on. Good, really? That's awesome. Yes. Like I'm being a little more personal, especially with people like I don't know at all. So like, but I mean, I'm trying like, I'm reading what the cards say and just trying to like make it like per like not generic kind of I guess I would say like because you can get really generic you know people can say like oh you're happy you know can just make give you generic messages sometimes and I'm trying not to do that as much but you risk being really off sometimes but whenever whenever you feel something you just feel it and you gotta let it go <laughs> you gotta say it. That's how, and that's how I've learned here like everything that I've learned has said that like just. Whatever you focus on, whatever jumps out at you, that's what you should say, and that's probably going to fit whatever they're going through. Okay, so for you, you have uh, two cards actually popped out. Now, these are spirit animal cards, so they are bringing a message to you. Um, the first one is the ladybug. 
is notice the small things or notice the little things. So look at look at life from from a ladybug's perspective, and it's, it's a whole big world out there. But uh, we have to remind ourselves that uh, we're we're not as we may be big for our our little pond, but we're not as big as <laughs> we think we are. Um, but also, you have a message from the fox. And the fox says, do secret favors for each other, for, for others. And I personally think that you do that already. Um, but uh, maybe be a little sly about it and uh, kind of like, not let them know, but, but give a hint that, hey, this is from me. You know, not not being a smart ass about it, but kind of get my point. And the, there was an actual other card that flipped over and I just now seen it. Um, the elephant, you can overcome any problem. So no matter how uh, dark something looks, you go, go, you seriously rise from the ladybug to the fox to the elephant. So rise, just rise. And I need to stop doing this because every time I look over, another card is, is flipped up. Okay, okay, last card, please stop flipping cards over. Okay, this one is the deer. It's be kind to yourself and others. Remember to take time out for some self care and remind yourself that uh, it's okay to take breaks once in a while. Stop and drink from the stream. Smell the flowers. Okay. All right. I'm done. <laughs> There's your message. No more cards flipped over, so it was good for that. All right, darling, are you ready? Next one is for Sarah with an M. It is the Thoth deck. All right, hold on a message in you. Okay, message sent. Okay. The soft deck. This is a really interesting deck. If anyone's ever heard of Alistair Crawley, this is his deck. He was kind of like a, some people describe him as like an evil magician, I guess. But he was like the bad side or the dark, no, maybe not the bad side. I don't want to say that because he gets a bad rep. But it was like the darker side of um the... What was that? The Golden Dawn. The, the Golden Dawn, like, um, group. Man. Yeah. Um, and the the cards like are beautiful. Like early 19, 1920s that was, like, really um, into different things or, like, had different ideas. It was probably, like, way ahead of his time. And, like, people thought he was, like, people, a lot of people were scared of him, I think. But this is mm -hmm. his deck and his version. Like, him and right like whenever you joined the um golden dawn group you had to you have to but if you're interested in it you made your own terror deck which is why right away i believe made the right away deck and then alistair crawley made the golf deck and that um those are the most popular decks that are like really used besides the marcel deck everything most of the decks are based off of um those two decks Little that's the two, there, that's the two of pentacles. Oh. And there's little, little words at the bottom of some of these. Right? I mean, am I confusing? I okay, are there little words at the bottom of the deck? On the, um, yeah. Like right there. Yeah. 
Okay. Yes, I have these. No, I will not be using them. Not until I'm ready. These are not mine anymore. No, I am not ready for this deck. Not ready. It's different. It's way different. Like, I read a whole book on it, and it's still like, like, because a, a few people, well, Alistair Crawley has a book on it, and then another guy that was like, has studied Alistair Crawley, like, nonstop, I guess, like, wrote a book and tried to like put it into layman's terms because I guess Alistair Crawley's book is pretty hard to understand if you're not like knowledgeable in all kinds of different like metaphysical topics. Mm -hmm. And even then it's still pretty hard to understand, I think. But, okay. All right. We got the Seven of Cups, the Six of Cups, and the Five of Cups. Which is weird that they're backwards. But, hmm. Okay, so the Seven of Cups, it says debauch, which is a strange word. But, um, it has to do with like having too many choices or having too many pleasures or having a lot of options right now in your life. The Six of Cups, again, has um, to do with like, it says pleasure, so uh, I guess that ties in with having too many choices or too many things that um, that you are enjoying maybe a little too much. But be careful because the Five of Cups tells us its word is disappointment, and it probably says that you're going to be, if you're not careful, you're going to um, have too many things going at one time, and you're not going to um, be able to uphold them all which the seven of cups has the female symbol at the top I, i'm sure you maybe you can see it like right there it's got the little female symbol of venus and the five of cups has the little mars symbol on it so it probably means like which i mean the cups have to do with the relationship anyways but i'm gonna say that um it starts with a girl and ends with a guy and there's a lot of pleasure in between but it ends with disappointment which i think we can all relate to that So be careful that you're not having too much fun and not paying attention to what you need to pay attention to or that you have too many fires in, in the kiln and you may it may end in disappointment that's all that's the warning here or it may not be as happily ever after as you were hoping who okay <laughs> All right, so next up is Sarah B. And this one is the Alice in Wonderland deck. Did you hear me? Oh, Alice in Wonderland. Okay. okay. This is a really big really deck. Yeah. It's an oracle card, so which I mean, I don't know if most of you know, but probably that oracles are a little different than tarot cards. Like they don't have a, like, they're not set up like the deck of cards with the twenty-two extra. They just have like their own numbers and messages that um like have usually to do with whatever their theme is. If you guys can't tell I'm a Gemini and I like to share information, like that's certainly one of my um, characteristics that we love to learn and we love to um, have that, teach other people that information and help it along. So I'm totally a Gemini. Okay. So we have nature communication, flower energies, fairy energies, Elemental Messengers, the wild looking card, Nature Communication, Wake Up, It's Your Moment, and Changed in the Night. 
you have changed quickly. So I'm going to say that you are starting to get more in touch with your spiritual side and realizing the existence of fairy energies or just energies in general. And it's definitely saying wake up the times now that you need to be learning this stuff and um, connecting with these things. And then it obviously changed in the night. The end result is that you're going to be a different person and it's going to happen quickly. But you, it's going to be for the best, I think. And it's also number 11, which is a... Um, a spiritual number or a twin flame number so maybe be on the lookout for your true love coming into your life but and they're probably going to change your life but it definitely deals more with like getting in touch with your spiritual side and that maybe you haven't been as awake as you should be or could be or um but it says like it changed quickly or you will change quickly and it looks like really good things though that you're just going to become more like spiritual and more maybe connected to nature and maybe people are going to notice a big change in you but that's okay because it's who you are and who you're meant to be and what you need to be doing with your life so whatever they think is really none of your business anyways and since i know her i can say yes she is going through a lot of changes and it is a beautiful thing to watch so two thumbs up. Okay. Uh, the last person on the list, if anybody else wants a reading, just comment reading. I'll get you put down. But right now, this is the this is the last one. This is for Samara. Oh boy. Okay. Um, your, your red Jasper pendulum. Oh, no. I didn't hear you. Barely, I barely, I heard you talking, but I can't hear you. Thanks, Mercury, you guys. Okay. <laughs> Come on, I need somebody else to ask for a reading. This is really cool. Um, I'm going to use the tarot, um, the tattoo tarot to pick. I'll pick a card with it. We'll just do one card because um, we haven't got that one yet. And it's a beautiful deck. But and Merkaba, actually, if you guys don't know, which you probably don't because I didn't until I just got this stone and researched it, is um, it is a sacred geometrical shape. It is a one triangle and then another triangle inverted on top of it like or inverted around it so it's like a triangle that starts like the base goes across your shoulders and goes down past your feet and then the other one starts like around your knees and the point goes above your head and it's like supposed to be have to do with our light um our chakras well not our chakras but more like our aura and you're supposed to be able to like um like use like meditate on the Merkaba symbol and I mean I've read as much as like interdimensional travel though I don't think that's quite like what's gonna happen but I guess it could um but just like strengthen your aura raise your vibration and like you just imagine like one pyramid spinning around you one way and the other one spinning around you counter like the other counter way and like strengthening the light around you and raising your vibration and your aura Look at, if you Google it, you can get a lot more information than what I, than the way I just put it. But it's a really interesting symbol. Okay. The Six of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles talks about getting what's owed to you or getting what's due to you. You put in some work and um, maybe you need some help right now or maybe you just need what you worked for and you're not, you're having a hard time getting it or maybe you're just, um, sometimes it has to do with like needing help and somebody, and you're going to get the help that you need at least. Like um, financially, you're going um don't feel bad about having to tell people what you need or ask for what um, 
you want because the only way that you're going to get what you need is to ask for it. The only way people are going to know that you need it is to ask for it. So don't be afraid to ask for something because more than likely you can return you can return the favor or you can um, do what you need. You can repay them in other ways besides financially. How about that? Like you can, um, or you probably may have already earned it anyways. But um, yeah, the card definitely has to do with getting getting money that you know, and sometimes maybe feeling like it, not like embarrassed to ask for it, even though you do it, or even though like it's okay to ask for you know to ask when you need help or to say something. So don't be afraid to ask somebody because they may really want to help you. They just don't know that you need it yet. And what deck was that? What deck did you use? Mm -hmm. Okay. The so yeah. The tattoo I was hoping you would pick, you would use that one. That's why it's I was really like, beautiful. come on, people. <laughs> okay. All right. So Brenda's up next. Uh -oh. We can still use it, though. I mean, definitely. Okay. This one's mine. Brenda, okay. This one's me. This is the gilded. So, you know, I have to do a reading at least one time in the show, right? So, you know, try to practice my newly learning tarot skills. And these, this is the, the Gilded Tarot. Samara said, love that. It resonates. Thank you. I'll, I'll make sure she goes back and, and looks at the comments. <clears throat> okay. All right, um, first card up is the Queen of Cups. Second card is Temperance. And third card is the Nine of Cups. So it looks like you're starting a new project. You need to be patient about it. Um, you're, you're trying to... You're, you're actually mixing things together. You're not trying. You are doing. And it looks like it's going to come out good. It looks like it's something that you're going to be proud of. There are cups in each one of these. Um, maybe uh, a, a new relationship. But I see this as a business relationship. I don't see it as a romantic relationship. So good luck with your new venture. I, I I love it, and I think that you're going to do great. Okay. Brenda, I hope that helps. <laughs> All right. This one. Okay, Shannon, and it is the Work Your Light. You got that? Uh, you're cutting out again. Okay. Okay, work the light, work on These are beautiful cards by Rebecca Campbell. She also has another deck too, I believe. These are beautiful. Wait till you see these. I mean, these are really, really, really beautiful cards. They're like I don't know how you would describe them. A little bit of animation, a little bit of like fantasy. Here's the back of the deck. Really pretty. Okay. 
play, have fun, celebrate, don't be so serious. Wait, you go first, the universe will catch you. And ladies, double mission, channeling and uplifting humanity. I don't know if you can really see how beautiful they are, but they're really beautiful cards. Like, here with this one again. So, play, leap, and Pallades. With Pallades, it's a star system out, um, I think, in the Torium constellation. Maybe I could be wrong about that. The Pallades are seven sisters also. But it says, have fun, celebrate, don't be so serious. You go first, the universe will catch you. And double mission channeling and uplifting humanity. So it looks like that you're being too serious. Maybe you need to have a little bit of fun or celebrate something good that's happened in your life. Leap, the universe will catch you. So you need to um, take an action that you've been holding your breath on that you're not sure that you haven't been sure of lately. Go ahead and do it. Do it. Take the plunge. And the Pallades maybe means that you need to look to some women in your life that are going to help you. Or just the whole channeling and uplifting humanity, it does. So probably whatever you've been on the fence about has to do with something spiritual or something connected to helping people. And you need to go ahead and do it. Um, jump. The universe will catch you. And it will be fun. Don't be so serious. That was nice. Those cards are beautiful. Okay, so I don't have anybody else on the list to... Nobody else has asked for readings. So we have done 12 readings this hour. And I guess we can we can call it a night. So um, okay. Um so hold on, I'll just I'll message her real quick. Okay. I know I heard you say nobody else has asked for any readings. <clears throat> green, of course, are green. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for. Thank you, guys. Sorry about the um, miscommun or the um, technological difficulties. <laughs> Mercury retrograde. This is the one time I'm actually going to blame something on Mercury retrograde. <laughs> so. All right. Thank you all for um, for sticking around well, and cheering us on. Well, because Mercury rules in my in Virgo, so yeah. I mean, we were coming into it that with a double whammy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true, <laughs> true. <laughs> all right. So thank you all for uh, being patient with us. We greatly appreciate it, and we will. I'll yes, see you uh, next uh, week. Um and um. It's Sunshine Smiles, so go find her Facebook page. Night, yeah. Go find her Facebook page, and her name is Jennifer. And you can see she has, is a great person, and uh, she's just getting started. So um, we, we like to pr promote people that are, are trying and get out there. She, uh, it really took a lot. And so I'm proud of her. So, uh, go, go give her some positive feedback. That'd be great. Especially since she, you know, kept on trooping after, after all of the, the delays and the, and the mis misfires, but we got it. Thank you for joining us for another night. I'll see you next week, um, with Dawn. And Dawn is uh, a reader. She reads from Earth, at Earth Magic in Morgantown. Um, so see you, see you here for then Wednesday night, eight p.m. Blessings. <laughs>